My name is Ronnie. I'm going to go ahead and uh, be with you tonight as Dr. Barry DiBernardo um, uh, walks you through and really breaks down um, the uh, issues with neck fat. He's, this is an educational webinar. Make sure you guys stick around. There's going to be gift cards. There's going to be special sales. And there's a really, really, really awesome grand prize that the, uh, the, the great folks at New Jersey Plastic Surgery are going to be raffling off to one lucky attendee. They are the preeminent um, aesthetic practice um, in the tri-state area. They are located in Montclair, New Jersey. Uh, I don't have to say too much. As you can see here on this slide, they are, have been featured, I think, on every channel um, on the planet. Um, and really, the one word that defines New Jersey plastic surgery is innovation. Um, Dr. DiBernardo has really built a culture of having the uh, practice always staying on the cutting edge of what the latest trends are, looking for the most modern breakthrough solutions that will allow patients to look and feel their best. And, and speaking of Dr. DiBernardo, who we're gonna hear from in a few seconds, um, all the credentials you guys may be aware of already, um, he is obviously a board certified plastic surgeon. He's a world renowned um, a doctor and speaker. Every time I talk to him, he is doing another webinar or lecture series to his colleagues about the latest trends, the latest breakthroughs, innovations, scientific studies that they're doing, things like that. So he's definitely um, the best of the best. But a fun fact that I just want to point out, other than the things that you may already know about him, is that he actually is a photography, um, uh, I call it a whiz kid. At 12 years old, he, he really built his passion for photography. And I always love when he talks about that because that's really at the heart of aesthetics is it's not just about surgery. It's not just about the science. It's also an art form. Um, and he has that ability because of his uh, photographic skills and his profession where he's even been featured in um, world, world famous museums and stuff. He takes uh, the best of both worlds, the right brain and the left brain. So without further ado, I want to get right into this for you guys. Again, remember, this is interactive. This is meant for your empowerment. So Dr. Barry DiBernardo, uh, please uh, go ahead and take it away. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Ronnie, for uh, hosting. And uh, thank you to the whole team um, for putting this together. Our our marketing team, which is all over the country, Ronnie, you're in Florida, we've got Pinpoint and Tammy's team in Seattle, and of course, Influx in Los Angeles. And of course, thank you to our whole team at New Jersey Plastic Surgery. So as you know, uh, tonight's topic is, is the neck. And um, the neck has been of growing concern lately, um, while we're all stuck indoors. On, and we um, are on these Zoom meetings, and these cameras are looking at our necks, which we call Zoom necks. But let's let's break it down to see what the problems are, so you can understand what your particular problem may be. And this is a webinar to introduce um, one of the great greatest uh, breakthroughs many of us have felt. Uh, for minimally invasive procedures in the last several decades um, called My Elevate. So starting, starting with what you're looking at here, um, a neck can have several problems and it could, it could grow with age. Uh, younger patients could have fullness and, and it could just be uh, too much fat in the area. As we go into the next decades, the, the skin starts to loosen and we can see excess skin. But at a certain point, you start seeing little bands under, under the neck, under the chin, and those bands are called the platysma muscle. And when it gets really big and, and wobbling, that's where people call that the turkey neck. And uh, the neck can also have jowls in, on the sides hanging there. So that could be um, unbecoming and, and a lot of pe 
people are self-conscious of those things. And what I'm going to walk you through is our mission at New Jersey Plastic Surgery and our research arm, New Jersey Clinical Research Center, the work we've done to get to this point, uh, which makes this all minimally invasive. So here's an example of someone who may be younger. Um, you can see a fullness in the neck. Don't, don't see any muscle bands. And, and the skin actually isn't that loose either. And, and this problem we were able to treat many years ago uh, with just simple liposuction. And, and if you come in with, with fullness of the neck, uh, we can certainly do that only. Uh, we do have some newer devices today. Uh, one is called the Evoke, a new device this year, which, which can go around your neck and it's non-invasive and it can treat this loose fat and somewhat of the loose skin if that's starting to happen. For, for years in plastic surgery, for 30, 40, 50 years, the traditional treatment for this problem, whether it's the neck or the face and neck has been your traditional facelift. Uh, and that was our only tool in our toolbox not many years ago. And you're going to learn we have a lot more tools now. Um, but what, you know, what was the problem with the facelift? It, it did a fine job, but many uh, today, you don't want to go to the hospital OR, um, particularly with COVID rising, people may not want to go to hospitals. Uh, the recovery when we do any kind of surgery can be longer uh, due to swelling and bruising. So there's more downtime. Anytime we add um, hospitals, anesthesiologists, length of procedure, length of recovery, that could bring the cost up also, um, just because of it's more complex. And that is why we have been searching for some alternative to possibly get these kind of results, but much easier in a shorter amount of time. And, and that's what we're gonna define as my Elevate. So many years ago, um, at least uh, 10 to 12 years ago, at New Jersey Clinical Research Center, we were using laser-based systems to do research on how we can tighten the skin without cutting, without doing surgery. And um, that is something we had worked on for many years. And our work was published in our premier journal, the Aesthetic Surgery Journal, uh, which you can see our article here. And, and that uh, dates back to about 2009. And uh, we have continued to work uh, with a lot of different devices. Uh, but what we started to see back then was by using energy uh, to apply energy to the skin cells, it would cause the skin to shrink and we could get a increased, um, uh, decreased uh, skin surface area by up to 54% in just three months because of, of what we were doing with the energy. The other component of the skin, the skin has little rubber bands in it called elastic fibers or elastin. And the other mission was to increase the elasticity of the skin. And when we did laser on one side and control no treatment on the other side, we saw at three months that we had 62% more elasticity on the side we did with the laser than doing just liposuction alone. So way back, you know, more than 10 years, um, we were able to achieve skin tightening without surgery. And here you can see a, a very fine example of one of our patients who really, um, if, if I looked at her back then, I told her she needed a facelift. And like the My Elevate patients today, um, their answer is, I don't wanna do surgery, what else you got? I said, well, I have the laser skin tightening, but I'm not sure if you're a candidate because you do have a lot of extra skin, but this is, this is a result of doing one treatment uh, with the laser 
And you can see um, she achieved a very nice result in about 30 minutes in the office under local anesthesia. So back then we were starting to see the breakthrough of what we could do with devices and energy rather than surgery. However, she was lucky because she didn't have that muscle banding because if she did, she wouldn't look this good. And if she did, she wouldn't be a candidate for doing this procedure. Here's another example of someone with fullness in the neck, with fat and loose skin. And you can see how on your left, there's really no jawline that the cheek and the neck all become one. There's no shadow there um, as we sculpt it by removing the fat and then kind of shrink wrapping the skin back up by tightening it with the devices. Um, you can see how we can improve both. And in this case, local anesthesia in the office in 30 minutes. Again, she's lucky she doesn't have muscle banding. And here, how long do these things last? We have studies out three years that show to continue to keep tightening. This is her photo out two years, and, and we have many more. And this patient, um, we had seen her recently. We had done her uh, laser tightening treatment 10 years ago. And as you can see, 10 years older, it's still holding, and um, she still has a nice neck contour. However, she's starting to get a few little bands in here. So to this point, we've been doing pretty well with fat and skin, but we always had to go to the operating room for, for muscle bands or turkey neck. And here's a gentleman. Um, as, as time went on, we used different energy forms to tighten the skin. Uh, this gentleman didn't have laser. He had radio frequency energy. And you may have researched or heard names uh, such as Thermi, or most recently we use a device called Face Tight for the face, uh, Body Tight for the body, to do non-surgical skin tightening. And these are very, very good devices for skin tightening. As you can see here, another person with large amount of fat tightening the skin and not doing a surgery to get this kind of result in one treatment. Now, that brings us to the muscle bands, which is the main subject of what we're talking about tonight. The muscle bands are, are seen here. If you bite down, if you roll your lip out, you can see the bands more so if they are an issue. Uh, they are can be prominent. The, the muscle, uh, the medical name is called the platysma muscle and their vertical cord-like structures in the front of the neck. And it's all, all often described as tendons or something that detracts from the appealing neck contour. And they are, as you get older, a key feature in aging. That's kind of a review of what we've done so far for the neck. And that brings us to 2020. And this article in the Wall Street Journal shows high, people are trying to hide their necks when doing these video conferences. They'll either raise the computer up to hide, they'll make a, a different camera angle or, or wear a different kind of shirt, but it, it's called um, sometimes Zoom necks. And we look at these find non-surgical and minimally invasive treatments on other um, social media sites. And, and this one, for example, on your left is all therapy. That's an ultrasound type treatment to tighten the skin of the face and neck. And you can see in, this, in, in these photos that they, they achieve something in the skin, but the neck muscles do not make this look like a good result it does not make it look like a youthful neck. And here we can uh, see on the right, that's another one. Here's another, um, more, more, these are real advertisements or, or promotions on social media. 
on the left, that's called J Plasma. Uh, that's another device. We use the smart lipo, but all of these patients still have the banding. The, the devices did what they're supposed to do, but in the patient selection, um, we have to track this muscle. Here's another one. Now, this is, this is something that came out a few years ago. It's an injection for fat for the muscle called Kybella. And uh, that, that's very good that you can do a little injection to melt fat. But if that uncovers these muscle bands, again, not, not ideal. And, and this is um, how the Kybella, this is an advertisement for Kybella. But that also has to be used with caution if you have more than just fat. If you have loose skin, that can be a problem. And if you have muscle bands, that can be a problem. So all of these treatments that we've done, and we've done great work for minimally invasive procedures, but they have been to date limited by these, the muscle bands. So my Elevate is a procedure developed by a doctor in Beverly Hills, Dr. Greg Meller. He read a paper that we wrote in the 1990s where we were making smaller incisions in surgery to tackle these muscle bands. And he took it one step further where he developed a procedure that has no incisions, no sutures, can be done in an hour and can get dramatic results. And it tackles the muscle bands with minimally invasive procedures. And we call this a bookend procedure because we divide the, the muscle bands first, then go on to what we just talked about, fat removal, skin tightening. And then last, we put the suture in the Elevate to tighten the neck contour. So that is my Elevate. And we, you know, the next question is out, you're all watching, who's a candidate for this? Candidates for this are patients who have so either some fat, some loose skin, or muscle bands and don't want to do surgery, want to do this in the office with a short procedure with a quicker downtime. And the, the surgeon has to look at you and make sure you really don't have so much that you do have to have a facelift or a neck lift, and that's your only choice. So it's that group of patients that are, um, are candidates for this. And I thought rather than me just talking about it uh, when we were in Dallas um, and had a nice panel at the Plastic Surgery Channel, and I'd like you to hear some from, a, from some of my colleagues, including Dr. Meller, uh, who developed it, Dr. Jason Posner, my friend in Boca Raton, Florida, and Dr. Matt Trevato, who works in our office and in Dallas. And um, take a listen to what they have to say. It's such a pleasure to be here today with my colleagues. I'm here with Dr. Barry DiBernardo, Dr. Jason Posner, and Dr. Matt Trevato. We're here today to talk about My Elevate and talk about what types of patients really benefit from the procedure. Um, this is something that uh, I pioneered over the last several years and we just introduced in early 2020. And it's really exciting to uh, see this, the results that you all have obtained and other surgeons throughout the country. Uh, it's a great procedure for somebody who's just starting to notice some aging in the neck area, or even for older patients who maybe had a prior procedure who, or who don't want to undergo a more invasive procedure, it's a way for them to sort of smooth shape and elevate the area underneath the jawline. So um, today we just want to talk about a few patients and hope that our viewers can see sort of if this is something that would work for them. We're going to talk a little bit about the procedure, what it involves, the recovery time and everything like that. So um, as we get started, I think what we'll do is we'll go to our first patient. And this is a young lady who came to see me. Uh, she's in her mid fifties and she was very nervous about having a facelift or neck lift. And these are a lot of our patients today. I'm sure that you all would agree who come in. They're just, they don't wanna undergo invasive surgery. So this patient underwent a laser that's called Precision Smart Lipo that tightened her skin. We did a little bit of liposuction. You can see she's got a little bit of fat underneath her chin in the before picture and then the My Elevate light guided suture suspension. These are three years after the procedure. 
I just wanted to ask you all what you think about these pictures and if you would have recommended anything else for her. So I'll start with, for those who are viewing this, um, this is a remarkable result in this category, which is why are you watching this? This is minimally invasive um, surgery or minimally invasive procedure. And for those who don't want to go to surgery and have a bigger procedure, um, this addresses everything about the neck, the loose skin, the excess fat, and those muscle bands. So to see this kind of result in a procedure less than an hour in the office with local anesthesia is just a great advance in 2020. Yeah, I mean, I would have done it. I look at her before and I go, you need a facelift. So this is remarkable that you can get away without the scars, with a minimally invasive approach, with rapid recovery. So, you know, let me turn the tables on you for a second with this. Let's say you did just laser liposuction on her and you didn't use the suture, light guided suture suspension. What do you think the result would have been? I don't think you could have achieved that degree of neck definition without the suture, but I'd like to hear from you. Sure. What's so important, I think, when, when we think about our necks is to think about what makes our neck contours. So a lot of people think it's just fat or they think it's just loose skin. But if you look at her neck, we know that she also has some muscle sagging there. So if I had done her, as you were suggesting, just with liposuction and just removing some fat and maybe some energy to tighten her skin, she would have still had the bands that people get in the front of the neck because that muscle is underneath there and it needs to be supported. And that's where my Elevate is amazing for these patients. Without opening the neck, we can support that area through a series of little punctures. And I think more than, more than just support is what uh, Greg was just saying, is that to be able to divide those platysmal bands at multiple sites is something that you can't underestimate in a patient. So between the band division and the supportive um, sling, it really is the missing link. It's, it's very much a game changer all percutaneously. Thank you, and you know what I'd love to do right now? I think it's a good time for us to look at the device, how we do this. Sure. Um, and the device we use is, it's a light guided uh, suture delivery system. And basically what it is, it's a fiber optic lighted rod with a suture attached to the center with a light source. And what the surgeon does is the surgeon places this light underneath the skin through little punctures, and they can see exactly where it's um, passing underneath the skin. And that makes sure that it's placed accurately and safely in the exact right place where you need to support the area like you can see on this patient. But it's a real innovation that's it's pretty amazing and there's nothing else like it. So what we're seeing here is, are the markings we do of little punctures, no incisions. And after we have tightened the skin and after we have uh, taken out any fat, uh, these are, this is the path that the very thin My Elevate suture will take in the neck. This is the lighted rod uh, that we just heard about, and it goes through the path and takes the My Elevate suture around to go through the neck contour and then um, create a a path that will then enhance the neck contour. And I believe um, we are very, very special, have a special guest on with us tonight. Uh, Dr. Meller is on from Beverly Hills, California. Greg, can you hear me? Absolutely, Barry. Um, wow, um, so good to see you and so good to see my Elevate at work. Um, just a little background, um, Dr. DiBernardo published the first paper on a technique very similar to this one that was called the GM Papa neck defining suture. And I used his paper as my template to create this way of doing sort of the same thing he came up with, but instead of having incisions, doing it through little one millimeter punctures using light guidance. And that's what you're all seeing right here is how we just thread that suture underneath the skin each little number represents a little puncture in the skin that just heals without any stitches or anything. So it's just such a pleasure to be here. And, and uh, I love the, the title of your talk. I, I'm going to come see you for mine. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. We're all going to have it done. <laughs> well, well uh, thank you for uh, joining us from uh, Beverly Hills. And um, this is a, a great webinar for the patients and I think everyone here really appreciates your 
development of this technology and we always search for the greatest and best technologies. And as I said to them before, I think this is one of the greatest advances in minimally invasive necks that we've seen in the last several decades. Oh, thank you, Barry. Well, I'm excited to, to see the rest of your talk and, and uh, see what you're gonna show us today. So um, thanks for letting me uh, take part in this today. I'm gonna do this for my own practice. Okay, we'll do it together. Bye-bye. Sounds great. Yeah, because the My Elevate procedure does not involve any incisions, the pain is so low after the procedures. Most patients will just take regular Tylenol. Um, we have our patients you know, take it easy for the first few days and apply ice to the area. Since there are no incisions, we don't have to worry about wound healing or suture removal or anything like that. But we, it, it, you taught us, we wrap them one night in a sort of a bigger dressing and then the next day we put them in a lighter dressing that they wear for a couple of days. And that yes. dressing allows the uh, swelling to dissipate, the bruising to dissipate. So within a few days, um, they look very good. Absolutely. So let's move on to our next patient. And uh, Dr. Travato, you're new to the My Elevate world. Right. Um, can you tell us a little bit about this patient? Yeah, th this is a 75 year old gentleman who feels young and great. He's a very active guy, but uh, when he looks in the mirror, just doesn't feel like the way he looks reflects the way he feels. He did not want general anesthesia. He did not want, he was not interested in having a invasive surgery, neck lift, face lift, et cetera. And so we used My Elevate to basically create that internal sling after dividing the platysmal bands. So we took care of that banding, we created that internal ligament basically, and then what I did, which um, I really enjoy doing on the older patients, is I um, do use a periauricular or around the ear and retroauricular or behind the ear incision where I'm able to, after I've tightened that sling, pick up all that redundancy um, that you would otherwise do in a mini face or neck. The difference is, is that in these patients, by supporting the neck, there's no tension on any of these incisions. And so for this patient, in about an hour from door to door, uh, this patient achieved uh, this result. He's very, very happy. It looks like he lost about 20 pounds just by cleaning up his neck the way we did. That's, that's a fantastic result. I wanted to ask you, did you use any energy-based skin tightening technology? No, or no just, just liposuction. So I divided the bands in maybe five or six uh, places. Um, I'm very aggressive with respect to that tool and the platysmal bands. I, I, just this week, I divided maybe eight bands. Uh, because if you knock out the primary band, there's always gonna be a secondary one that acts up. So anyhow, we did the bands, we did liposuction after putting about 400 cc's, 300 cc's of tumescent, no energy at all. That's a great result, and I, and I like your innovation of, of doing a little bit of a skin tuck behind the ear. And, and this, is, this is a great example because without this combo of the two things you did, he would not have done anything. No, I would previously have to do a suture suspension open technique which he didn't want um, to do. Which he did not want, want to do. And this really allows me to divide bands in a way that I wouldn't be able to do with the open technique. So um, Jason, you've been doing this since about almost a year. Who are the ideal patients? I think to me this would not, this would be an advanced case. That wouldn't be my first case. I think this is your, ideally for your pre-facelift crowd. Those Botox and filler patients who are in their 30s and 40s and early 50s who have a little bit of laxity, they have some banding, they may have some prominent submandibular glands, and they're, de they're just starting to lose their neck definition. That they all come in with the same complaints. I'm a little loose here and I like my jowls. And, and they, from the jowl perspective, the suture tucks in the jowl. So when you pull this in and define that neck, the jowl gets tucked in here. Plus if there's any fat, you're like pulling it away. So it is a great jowl procedure. And that's what you mean by bands and glands, and glands, the two things that affect the contour of your neck. Absolutely. And then Barry, I have a question for you. If you had a patient who had energy-based skin tightening and they had banding afterwards, would this be a procedure that would work for them? Absolutely, and that's a great question for us because I have 10 years of patients uh, with that and uh, they may not have had it at the time, but as they've gotten older, I, I've got 
skin tightening, doing well for years, but the bands are showing up. They don't need anything else. So this is just easy to add this on later. And there's a lot of patients that would qualify for that as well. I want to give you a rhetorical question. Yes. Okay, all you guys, because I get this all the time. So you have a patient, let's say, who's 50, who has a little bit of laxity. And I look at them and I go, you know, chip shot elevate. You're a perfect elevate. And they go, well, I'd rather have a facelift and get it out of the way now. That's what I hear all the time. Well, maybe I should just do this now. And I don't look at it like that. I mean, I think that you should probably push that off because that face of may not age as well as the Elevate to me. It's meaning that that secondary face of that you might need in five or seven years might not be the ideal situation then. Does that make sense? Yeah, oh, it's absolutely. A, it's a different answer in 2020 than in 2010. That may have been the right answer 10 years ago, but with all the tools we have now, um, that's probably not the correct So how answer. would you answer that patient who says to you, okay, you know, I'm 50, shouldn't I just get it out of the way now? What, what would you, how would you, what was your wording? What's your talk track? Yeah, so what I do, I mean, I have a lot of patients who come to see me and uh, I do a lot of facelifts and neck lifts. I love doing them. But um, when I see them and I don't feel they're ready for it, I talk to them about the new technologies of energy-based skin tightening. And just like you were saying, Jason, you know, I agree with you. I think doing too much too early looks a little fake and so I think it's good to start out and do things in a stepwise manner. So maybe in a younger patient, maybe in their early 50s, do the MyElevate procedure combined with energy if you need it. Then you're kind of restoring and renewing their neck and you're going to hold things there because you have that suture suspension there that's going to support everything so they're going to age a little more gracefully or a little slowly and then later on you do skin removal. But you also, you know, it's very intuitive for, for the patients to understand this procedure because so many of my patients at 42, 43 year old, years old come in and say, isn't there something you could do, just do this? Isn't there something? Right. And now the answer is yes, this is exactly what this does. It just goes right here. And they understand it and because they can understand it so easily, um, it makes them more willing to commit to it. And I don't want a 42 year old really to be committed to that full facelift incision. And, and I always say that, you know, I like the iPhone analogy, okay? This is our iPhone 11 or 12 now. And you know, in five years, there may be other adjunct techniques that even tighten better that are adjunctive to this. So you might, in five years from now, when you're 55, if I do this to you at age 50, there might just be some little tweaking, tightening that we can do that. You might need a, not need a facelift ever. Well, we don't really need to wait because we have devices now. If we're working beautifully on the neck, we have other devices that can tighten the rest of the face with no downtime, completely non-invasive, and you can combine the two right Which now. Which we do. Today. So I just wanted to tell you, sort of summarize, sort of who are the ideal patients for this procedure. Um, I've done the procedure on patients as young as early 20s, and those are patients who were born with just that ski slope neck. And I know there are patients out there who have that, who are not overweight, but they just have sort of that obtuse neck. Those are great patients, especially if you have them grimace and you see some of the banding, which most people have the muscles there. It totally just restores and recreates this beautiful jawline. So that's the younger end. And just like we were talking about earlier, the older patients, maybe a patient like yours, Dr. Travato, who did not want to have a traditional neck lift or facelift, you're going to get a lot of improvement because you're supporting that area. And because we're not separating the skin from the underlying muscles, when you tie up the light guided suture suspension, everything's lifting as a composite. And that's why you got such nice contours of the neck. And then the patients who are early aging, like I think the ones, that, the majority, the lion's share that I see are patients in their 40s who would not be a good candidate for a neck lift or facelift. It's overkill. But to do something like this is going to really give them that sculpted jawline. And as Barry said, 10 years ago, we were saying to those early 40s with early uh, aging, we would say, you need a facelift. And what percentage actually went for that? A high percentage will go for this. Minimally invasive, quick recovery, no visible scarring. I mean, this is a no-brainer for most patients. This has what the aesthetic patient of today is looking for. And then, Barry, a question for you. Um, you have extensive experience with energy-based skin tightening. Um, why is this different than, than energy-based skin tightening? Why is this an adjunct? Apples and oranges. And energy tightened skin does not address muscle. To get the perfect neck contour result, you need to address all the components. As I said, fat, easy. We did liposuction for years. Next advance was tightening skin with all different types of energy we did research on. The muscle was our roadblock. So this, Matt said, is the missing link. 
it now ties in the whole repertoire of what we did in full surgery to the minimally invasive procedure percutaneous. All right, I'd like to thank all my plastic surgeon colleagues uh, that were on the video at the Plastic Surgery Channel in Dallas. And um, again, thank you to Dr. Meller for joining us um, to say a few words as well. Here's a patient that has um, fat, loose skin, and some muscle banding. And just a few weeks after, that contour is improved, and we're starting to see uh, the skin tightening get better and better. And that happens over weeks and months. It gets better and better. This is a patient who had um, a, a little bit of muscle banding. They, the importance of this photo is we did the MyElevate procedure, and this photo is taken one day later. So you see remnants of the of the uh, punctures, but you see the new contour, you see the muscle is already improved and that's just in 24 hours. We have a patient that's a little bit older. She's 47 years old, loose skin, but very prominent muscle band there. And, and really that was not becoming for her at her age. So she had the MyElevate procedure, took less than an hour. We did energy-based tightening in her. And in this instance, this is two weeks later, and you can see a, a very good contour. In, in um, the video patients we see here um, that in these kind of views, you can see rotationally, you can see them bend up and down. And to see the difference in that neck contour, um, even when smiling, uh, where it's really pulling tighter on, on the muscles, um, you can see the improvement happen months later. And, and this is like four months later, looking up, looking down. Uh, very good way to see all aspects of improvement in a patient. And this gentleman, uh, he's, he's younger. He has some early muscle banding, some fat, and some patients come in and they don't have that much. And I give them a choice. They say, you can have just some liposuction and it look, will look better, or you can add the MyElevate and have a very sculpted look and still be very easy to do. So you do have a choice even at an early age of what degree of improvement and I know a lot of people are asking questions, how long does it last? Uh, Dr. Meller has patients out five years and longer, uh, thousands of patients for this. And um, that, that's a testament to a, a very good procedure that it lasts for a long time. So this is uh, one of our patients actually in the video, uh, you saw Dr. Travato on the right, Dr. Travato's I top plastic surgeon that works with us at New Jersey Plastic Surgery. And he did what was called a hybrid procedure on Lewis. So Lewis is different. He's 75 years old. And if we improve his neck contour with my Elevate only, it may not be ideal. But the hybrid procedure means we just behind the ear take a little bit of extra skin out and uh, that's enough to make up the difference. And, it, and we don't have to do all the surgery in the whole front part of the neck. And um, I, we do have some videos of how Lewis felt right after the procedure. I, I can't believe that I just finished this operation and I'm going home and I have no pain, I have nothing, absolutely nothing. This is perfect. I couldn't ask for better. I meet with my friends over the telephone, a Zoom call, and every other week. And uh, yesterday, uh, they knew that I had a cataract operation. And when they saw me, the first thing they said, said, Lou, you look different. What did you do? You look a lot younger. So, and they have no idea what we did.
So, Lewis, you're like two weeks now after the neck procedure. So what do you have to say now after two weeks? That I'm absolutely elated. This is fantastic. Very easy. I will do it again with my eyes closed. No pain. The results are fantastic. I know it's only two weeks, but did anyone you came upon uh, notice anything? It's, it's, it's unbelievable. People come over and look at you and I, are you losing weight? Uh, you look younger. What are you doing? Uh, it, it's unbelievable. They can't figure it out because it's so natural. So, so that's a 75-year-old patient with the um, hybrid procedure. Um, we're, we're very honored to have one of our patients live on the call with us tonight, Sandra. And what you can see here is Sandra, like everyone, was concerned about her neck. She's on these phone calls. She has a very prominent job and she, she saw the fat, she saw the wrinkling and um, she talked to us about my Elevate and um, that seemed to be a good answer for her. So Sandra, you just had a procedure called Elevate. Can you tell us what that was like? It was easier than a massage. It was pain-free, very comfortable. It was a quick procedure. And here I am walking out just about 20 minutes after, and um, I feel like I can conquer the world. Would you recommend it to others? I certainly would, and oh. I can't wait to see the results. Well, we can see the results tonight because we have Sandra live with us. And Sandra, welcome to our uh, webinar tonight. Uh, pleasure to have you. Thank you, thank you for having me. And. We have, we have a lot of people on here who uh, they've seen a lot. They've heard from Dr. Meller and the doctors, but I think they really, and we heard uh, videos of Lewis, but they really want to hear from a patient. Um, did, the, the, did this do the job for you? Did it achieve what you were concerned about? And, and what was this really like? The, you know, I, I'm the doctor telling, but they really want to hear what a patient says. So you're asking me what it was like, and I have to say, I don't remember. I think your steady hand and your artistic hand made it that I don't remember the procedure at all. And to everybody watching, I was awake for the procedure. I had local anesthesia and Dr. DiBernardo gave me a cocktail of Valium and pain meds, and I don't even remember the procedure. So that really speaks volumes in my mind to how gentle of a procedure it is. If I, if I don't remember you tugging and pulling and pushing, it was very easy. Now, here, here's a photos that you took yourself. Yes. And um, I'll, I'll just say for, for the audience, um, look at before she had wrinkles, she had poor definition, she had jowling and, and really not a contoured neck or youthful neck, neck. And when we look at your photo on the right, uh, the skin is starting to tighten from the energy. We see a, a sharp, crisp neck. This was done in a short amount of time. Um, the, you must be elated with that. I am elated with Elevate for sure. And, and I would just tell everybody watching that this before and after picture the after picture is maybe two weeks out from the procedure. And so that is an amazing result in a matter of two weeks. And, and I tell everybody that energy, which we've known from the past, continues to improve over time. You're about six weeks out now. Yes. Is that what you're finding? Definitely. I have found that the, um, the, 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 the look of the jowls and even the texture of the neck has improved. And I, and I'm, confident that it will continue to do so. A lot, of, you know, when we work on minimally invasive and say we don't need big surgeries, we can do a lot with this. Uh, a lot of people think that's not believable. It's too good to be true, but um, you, you have had it done yourself. Did it do what we're saying to all these people that it's supposed to do? Absolutely. And I think um, one thing to bear in mind is that I feel like the procedure gave me a very natural and enhanced appearance, not a manufactured, pulled or tucked look. Um, and, and I would say, candidly, this is the time to do this. We are unfortunately find ourselves in a pandemic and with wearing masks, 
you can actually emerge <laughs> after this pandemic, removing your mask, like a new person. And people are not going to really know what happened, but they're going to definitely see a difference. Maybe they thought you got a lot of rest while you were at home. Exactly. But, um, but uh, this, that's very good. And any, any final thoughts for uh, patients thinking of, of doing My Elevate? Again, like I said, I think it's a perfect time. I think it is a very affordable option. It's a very, um, you know, whatever your lifestyle is, you can, you know, do it on a Friday, recoup over a long weekend and, um, and just keep on moving. I mean, it, 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 it is no comparison to going under a traditional procedure. And to me, and at my age, the results I think couldn't have been any better. And one of the questions that someone just asked was, it almost looks like the area above your neck looks improved. And, and technically that's correct. I, yes. I don't go above the jawline, but when we pull the platysma muscle down, it supports the jowling. It, it gives the, that's a, your salivary gland that's there. It gives that support, but it also takes the lower part of, of the skin and tightens that as well. So whoever made that comment, that's a good observation because it does do that. I would like to make one other comment. Um, and that is when I went to see Dr. DiBernardo, um, I had some concerns and, and, and he is a, a professional of, of, of great magnitude. And what I really appreciated was one, he took the time to listen to me and really hear what, what, what was of concern to me. But more than that, he took it a little step further and educated me and pointed me into the best option for me. Even though I came in with all my education from the internet and I said, okay, I want this, this, this. And he looked at me and he says, no, that's not how we're gonna approach this. And he's the professional and he knows the way to go about it. And um, again, he steered me in the most perfect direction and, I, and I'll be forever thankful. Well, thank you for the kind words, Sandra, and thank you for coming on with us. And, Absolutely. Um, um, we appreciate it. So thank we're going to um, move on. Thank you. Thank you. So um, to conclude, um, we, we've we heard the, the history of what work we've done over the years to help fat, skin tightening, and now my elevate. Uh, we heard doctors talk about it. We heard the developer of it. And we have also heard from our patients. And, and the real conclusion is that this procedure, it works. It takes less than an hour. It's local anesthesia. We do it in the office. The recovery is fairly quick. And again, from my opinion, working in minimally invasive techniques and aesthetics, uh, I think this is one of our bigger break breakthroughs uh, that we've seen lately. So um, I'd like to thank everybody for uh, paying attention. And uh, now don't go away because you have some very good things uh, coming up for you that you're going to hear from Ronnie and Shirley. So thank you very much. Yes, no, thank you again, Dr. DiBernardo. And of course, in a few minutes, Dr. D is going to be going through and, and we'll be answering um, uh, a lot of the questions that you guys have been submitting. Great questions. A lot of people are were amazed, especially at Sandra's testimonial just now and how um, fast the recovery is. So I want to just point out before I bring in Shirley, who is the uh, patient coordinator extraordinaire at New Jersey Plastic Surgery. Um, I just want to make sure everyone has the contact info for um, New Jersey Plastic Surgery. We've been going through this procedure. Of course, this is just one of the many services that um, the, they offer there. They have surgical, they have non-surgical, they have um, skincare, they have spa. Um, so, so make sure you reach out to them. And now it's going to be the fun, uh, the fun part of the night. We're going to be going ahead and selecting our winners now. We have two exclusive offers. So again, this is great, especially we're coming up on Black Friday. These are exclusive promos that are only being promoted to the, um, uh, the webinar people. So um, Shirley, if you want to just kind of, you know, give everyone here, because they're all winners, everyone gets this, if you want to give a little info on the first uh, offer. So everyone is invited to make an appointment with our office for a complimentary Vizia screening. So what's Vizia? 
Vizzy is gonna measure the surface skin and below surface. It's gonna tell us your sun damage, your browns, your reds, your porphyrins. It's gonna say if there's spider veins or hyperpigmentation. And what that's gonna do is allow us to make a skincare plan and a treatment plan. Do you need a light? Do you need a laser? Do you need something? Or is it just skin? So it's perfect. Now this is the best one. Everybody that's in attendance for this event tonight, when you come in for your consultation, you're gonna actually be getting a savings of $1,000 off of the operating room fee. So that's a huge discount for you. It's a huge savings. And again, it does have a timeline. It's between now and December 31st. So this is the perfect time to get this type of treatment done, especially with turtlenecks and the masks and all those types of things. So you wanna jump in on this one. Everyone is a winner. We all get a trophy. We all get those two flash offers. So make sure you take advantage of that. The Vizia free skin analysis doesn't cost you a penny um, and the uh, My Elevate uh, OR fee that's waived. So now what I wanna do is I wanna open it up to our expert and our um, special uh, presenter. Shirley, if we see your palm one more time, I'm, I'm gonna have to, there we go. <laughs> so Dr. D, we got some great questions here. I'm gonna go through it and, and do my best. I know that um, you have um, another uh, of many presentations you have to do to your colleagues. So we're gonna try and squeeze in as many questions as we can here. So. Um, the first one was, why does the sagging skin on my neck vary? Some days it's minimal, some days it's quite loose. That could be, um, so anything that changes so fast um, really is not the base of your skin changing. That, that can't change that fast. That happens over years. Usually that's coming from water content. You, you may be more hydrated one day and less hydrated or dehydrated the other day. And that, that can change the skin dramatically. That's another reason why if you use uh, consistent skincare, um, what's gonna happen is the, the cells as they're getting older, the walls are getting weak and they don't hold the water that you drink. As you use better skincare constantly, the cell walls get thicker and, and you may maintain more moisture in your skin, but it's fluid fluxes that, that account for that. Great. Um, Shirley, I don't know if you're still with us, if you can yeah. jump back on, because we have a couple people asking, what's the price, what's the cost range, how much does this cost? Um, I know it could vary, so do you mind just giving us some sort of a uh, price range for yeah. that for everyone? So depending on what you need, you know, from just fat or skin or the actual, the full procedure, it's going to start somewhere in the 3,500 range and go on up. And remember again, it's local. So there's no anesthesia involved. Um, it's same day surgery. You know, you come in and you leave. And of course we also have financing available. And uh, while I have you here, Shirley, um, another question, are the consultations for my Elevate free? I believe they are, right? You may have to put a deposit down, but it's free consultation, right? Well, it's free because you came to this event. <laughs> oh, nice. So, so you're saving um, on that also. Okay, that's nice. You should have told me. I would have made a bigger deal about that. So make sure everyone paid attention to that. You'll get the free consultation too um, since you were on this webinar. Um, okay, so Dr. D, um, what's the difference between face tight and my elevate? Which lasts longer? And which is better for the neck lift? Which is better for the neck lift and lower face tightening? I guess let's start with what's the difference between face tight and myelitis? Okay, so they're two different things and they're used for two different purposes and they can be used together and they're used together all the time. So my elevate is taking care of the muscle bands and it's also the support of your whole neck to hold it up and support it for years. So that's what my Elevate's doing. Switch to the loose skin, which gets looser with time. The, the face tight is a device or one of the devices we use to put energy in, 
to the skin to create mm -hmm. tightening. So they are two different things for two different purposes. And if you only come in with loose skin, you could just get face tight, that's it. If you have the muscle component, you can do that only, but usually we tighten skin uh, at the same time. So they are different for treating the two different components, the loose skin for face tight and the um, muscle bands uh, for my Elevate. Um, Dr. D, is my Elevate a collagen fiber that is healthy for the body? Could you repeat that, Ronnie? Um, the, this person is asking, is my Elevate a collagen fiber that is healthy for the body? No, it's, it's uh, a suture and it's um, made of the same material we use in other surgeries where like with a tummy tuck, we use sutures to keep it tightened. And this is a type suture that can stay in the body and it can stay in for years. Now, one of the features of the My Elevate suture, and it, I know it was very hard to see when we were holding it there at the TV studio, but it's, it's very, very soft and it's very, very thin. So, so it's very hard to feel it. So it's a special suture because it has to be that way because it supports for years to come. Great. Um, I am uh, going to ask for one brave soul right now while we answer a couple more questions. I wanna have one person ask a question live so they'll be able to unmute and ask a, uh, their question live. So raise your hand right now. We just want one person um, as I go through some more of these questions. Um, make sure it's a good question. If it's a bad one, Shirley's gonna yell at you. But go ahead and raise your hand if you have a good question for Dr. D um, uh, and you're willing to ask it live and we'll go ahead and answer that. But in the meantime, let's go to the next question. Um, Shirley, mm -hmm. Can a consultation be done by Zoom video chat or telehealth uh, consultation? So we elevator? can we can do an initial Zoom or FaceTime consult, um, but before we actually book the surgery, we do want to see you in the practice. So we can definitely start with the Zoom. Okay, and I would you... say from the Zoom. I can get a very good idea if you're a candidate or not, which is what we want to mm -hmm. determine. Uh, but to do a surgery on someone, we kind of need to see and touch you in the end. Yep. Um, great question. Uh, another good one. Are there exercise limits after the procedure? Yes. So when you do any uh, procedure other than non-invasive procedures, we don't want you to do heavy lifting, sports, gym, exercise. If you're doing our big surgeries like breast lifts, tummy tucks, facelifts, um, that is for four weeks. And um, after four weeks, you can do anything. With My Elevate, because we're not making those big incisions, um, we still want to limit your first two weeks. Uh, but after that, you can start getting back into things. Um, how long do you need to wear that um, like head wrap uh, thing after so, the procedure? So that, that's a very good question because if you saw the doctors on the show, everyone had a different answer. Um, some will only have you wear it for one or two days. Um, I, I can have you wear it for up to six days and, and it's really up to you. The, what, I, I know from my 10 years of doing the, the tightening procedure, if you keep it on for almost the five, six days, when you take it off, you're really gonna not have much bruising, not have much swelling, and almost look very finished at that time. You can take it off after one or two days, but you still might have more residual effects. So it's up to you. But one, once this is all off, um, then you can go out, you can go to work, you can do things, but I do want you to wear it when you're home and sleeping for the next couple weeks, but you can then go out. Um, can you have this procedure if you had a facelift 10 years ago? You, 
you can have it after facelift if it, that has to be a special situation because usually if you've had a facelift, um, that's a procedure that may have taken care of your muscle bands. What we'd have to see if it hasn't or they've become more prominent, um, we, can, we can do this procedure on afterwards. That's something I, I need to see you kind of question. Great. Um, does this dissolve over time? I'm sorry. I, I, guess they mean, I think they mean the threading. Does it dissolve over time, the suture? I, I think that's what no. you're asking about. No, if it, it doesn't dissolve over time. It's just like the procedure we developed in the early 1990s. We have patients with that. These are surgical sutures. They, they've been in patients 10, 20, 30 years. And, and this one's much smaller than that. So it does not have to be removed. Great. Um, okay, so oh, I lost my brave soul. I'm gonna have to go to someone else. I had someone who had their hand raised and then they just unraised it. So I'm gonna go to a patient right now. Okay, she's back. I'm gonna allow you to talk. So um, go ahead and um, uh, ask your question for uh, Dr. D. So will this show over time? I'm concerned about because I've seen women where I could see that there's a thread in their neck. And I, and I can tell maybe that it probably didn't show when they were younger, but then maybe as they got older and their muscle or, or, or mass has disappeared, that that string begins to show. Does that is that something that I would have to be concerned about? Um, you're talking about someone who's had something done years ago. Yeah, I think it was like an actress on television, and I looked and I said, "Oh, I see, I see it, a, a okay. thread or something running so, through her." Hold hold on that thought because someone asked another question, which I want to answer and then get to yours. Someone said, is this a thread lift? Everyone's heard the term thread lift. This right. is not that at, this is not that at all. Um, thread lifts, um, which were popular maybe two years ago, they still do them. Uh, you'll see them done in dermatology a lot. They are sutures that go in right under the skin to try to pull it tighter. Um, most, most of them can dissolve, some of them don't, but those are right in the skin. And, and really as a, as a whole category, those are temporary. They're very expensive for us to even buy them. I, I don't think they really you know, do something for you long-term. And sometimes if they're too superficial, you can see them. Um, we don't really like to do those. This is not that at all. This, oh. is, this is not a thread lift. This is a suture. It's a, a suture put in by surgeons. Uh, and it's put in, I don't know if you guys uh, understood what Dr. Meller was talking about with the light guidance. The, really, the reason that's so ingenious is we can see the light under the skin and by seeing it, it's telling us the suture is in exactly the right depth under the skin so it doesn't show. So it's not too superficial, it's not too deep. That's what that whole light guidance is. And that's why this is ingenious. Um, but this, this shouldn't show. Now, the, the only thing you may see with time is you may see more loose skin because you age. Uh, we can't um, stop the aging, so you may see that. However, we, we are tackling that because for, for the last year or so, those don't underestimate those underskin products which change your cells. And by maintaining that, you're actually getting younger. Uh, so if we wanna preserve the Elevate procedure or anything else we're doing, um, do these things at home. But your main question is, does this suture show? Um, if it does, that, that's a problem. But 
the, the light guidance keeps us uh, in the right plane and the, the Elevate company um, make sure that it's really mostly plastic surgeons doing this because they want the procedure to be done well by most in the country. Great. Um, I'm going to let, I'm going to, I lied, I'm going to let one more person ask a live question um, and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, I know you do have to jump, uh, Dr. D. So um, uh, our patient now, you've been unmuted. Uh, please go ahead and ask your question. So I would like to know, I'm at 50 years old, I'm considering this procedure. Is this the type of procedure that going on in five, seven, or eight years can be repeated? Or what would be the natural next step after that? Very good question. And it's, it's a wait and see, Lynette. You, the, the, the foundation is in there and it will hold for, for many years. If, if skin above it is starting to loosen in a, in a few years, it, you know, everybody ages at different rates. Um, it may be something where we say, hey, your, your Elevate foundation is great, but you're starting to get a little looseness. That's what that machine that the grand prize was, the soft wave, you could do something like that just to, to boost the tightening. Um, if the found, if it's many years and, and the foundation is, is loosening, this is so easy to do really. You, you can place another one easily, even though the other one's in there and reinforce again. So with, with my Elevate and our other tools, I, you know, all, all of our good patients, they, they don't disappear for 10 years. They, they check in every three months, six months, one year. And, and we look, and if something's starting to tweak in the wrong direction, um, we always have a new technology that can answer that question. Um, there's one last question I wanna squeeze in here for you because I've seen a couple of people asking it. Um, uh, basically, how long does this procedure last? Like when you get it done, how long will the results uh, last for typically? Again, it, it depends on your age you're starting, your skin age with the Vizia machine can tell us how much elasticity and collagen you have. But the, so, so it depends on where you're starting. Uh, if you're starting younger, it will last longer because your skin's in better shape. If your skin's not in better shape, we can get it in better shape. But the, the answer, the answer Dr. Miller has given uh, to that because he's done probably 3,000 of these over five or seven years. And, and he believes that the foundation suture really holds for about five years, um, which is a long time for a less than an hour procedure. So it's got a lot of, you, you have to weigh the risks and benefits of everything. How long does a facelift last? Um, and a face, you know, doing a full facelift may not last that long either if your skin is aging fast. So it's all relative. The only answer I can give you is if you want to stay looking younger all the time, um, you know, just check in with us. We'll take a look. We'll put you on the Vizio. We'll get your scores. And, and we will maintain you to not only have it to not let it go backwards, but to try to make you continue to look younger with all of the tools we have today. And um, Ronnie mentioned, we've got a lot of tools. And for some reason this year in 2020, um, our, the research coming in for us to do for these, these techniques for the future is just so bright and it's just going to keep rolling and rolling, which is better for you guys because it's a, it's a trend to do lesser and lesser things that actually do better and better than the big surgeries we did before. So um, keep in touch and, and just, just come in and ask us so we can keep you young looking. And I'll reiterate a couple of things Dr. D just pointed out in that answer because I know some people were asking that. 
the procedure is like an hour long, a little less. Um, the benefits uh, that, that we hear at home when we're kind of just looking back at everything, uh, the fact the, the post-procedure recovery, the fact that you don't need to do a major surgery with anesthesia like you would for like a facelift or, or a neck lift or something like that. Um, this is a groundbreaking modern technique, but at the same time, as you just heard, it's not like uh, this is your first rodeo in a sense. You, you, Dr. Mueller, you, you've been performing these hundreds, thousands of patients. Um, and uh, again, this is really exciting. Dr. DiBernardo, thank you so much. I know that you have to run. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna politely ask anyone who didn't get their question answered or anyone who wants to get more info, just contact New Jersey Plastic Surgery. You can email Shirley directly. You can call the practice, um, but make sure you take advantage of those special offers. We're waiving all of these fees. It's a great holiday um, gift to yourself. Um, so please, the you know the staff is here to help. Um, it's it's a it's a great uh, practice, and uh, you know they work with you to figure out what is going to work best for you. So any final um, thoughts you want to say, Shirley, before we sign off, and then I'll let Dr. D give one final. Don't forget, get in before December 31st. These are great offers for you. I thought you were going to let us see your dog, Shirley. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> He's um, been very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> probably drugged him. Uh, I, I know. And I, I'll just, sick. I just want to conclude by thanking everyone for uh, coming on. Uh, over the years, we've done these programs. We've done them in hotels. We've done them in the office. And um, really the, the situation in 2020 has uh, had us progress in technology the way we've had to progress with your treatments. I think this format has been great. We've allowed to speak to more people this way. And um, Ronnie, I'd like to uh, also thank uh, you and the other team behind you, the, all the hard work you guys put into doing this webinar. Shirley, thank you for everything and all the uh, participation. So um, with that, uh, good night, everyone, and have good holidays and stay safe.